Welcome back, everybody, to the Arizona Diamondbacks franchise here on MLB 15, the show. And we are here at Marlins Park here in Miami, Florida, about to take on the Miami Marlins as we are still having a struggling season. One of the only teams, actually the only team in the NL West that's um, below five games back. So, um, you know, struggling pretty badly. Marlins in their hands are at the top of the NL East right now. So they're enjoying themselves a nice season, as you can see. Not a great hitting team for the Diamondbacks, along with, except for AJ Pollock, who's hitting 322. You know, just having an incredible season so far. But we'll just see what happens. They're taking on Dan here in 3 3 record, the 2.49 ERA, 7 games pitched, and 37 strikeouts on the season. As we move on to the game, first batter is AJ Pollock. He's got a 3 1 count on him. Fifth pitch into the game. He's going to hit this one into the 5 6 hole. Check out this play by Edeni Echevarria, but he will end up. He will not be able to get up uh, Pollock. Pollock's too fast for him. So, next batter is Aaron Hill playing second base. He's going to inside out this one. And he is going to be robbed by Giancarlo Stanton with a sensational diving catch to rob him. So, now Paul Goldschmidt is up. What's Paul going to do? Paul is going to hit this one about four feet in front of him. Salty's going to throw it to second base and on to first. And that'll be a double play. So, the Marlins will get out of the inning. Now to the bottom half of the first inning, the Marlins are up, or yeah, the Marlins are up right now, and they don't have a much better average than the Diamondbacks. You can see Giancarlo Stanton really struggling, hitting 195 on the season, but their pitching has really gotten to where they are at this point. But on the map of the Diamondbacks is Chase Anderson, 1-0 record on the season, 3.13 ERA, has seven no decisions, so his offense isn't really helping him for the most part. <clears throat> But see if he can bounce back. So Giancarlo standing up. 1-2 count. 2 away to him. And Stanton is going to strike out on this low curveball. So the Marlins go 1-2-3 in the bottom half of the first. Moving to the top of the second. Yasmani Tomas is up. And Tomas is going to be burned by that fastball high and inside. Now later in the inning is 1-2 count. 10. Nick Ahmed. And Ahmed is going to take this ball deep and out. Nick Ahmed's first home run of the season coming here at Marlins Park. And it seems like we've been getting a lot of unlikely sources for home runs um, from what you guys have seen. You guys have seen Chris Owens hit a home run. You guys have seen Aaron Hill hit a home run. And now Nick Ahmed is going to take uh, Danny Heron deep. So that's a great start. But moving on now, we're in the bottom of the second. Full count to Marcel Ozuna. And Ozuna is going to be cooked by that curveball. So far, Chase Anderson working the curveball pretty well. As now up is Mike Morris, and Mike Morris is going to take this ball deep to right field. Trumbo on his horse. He cannot get to the ball, as that is going to rattle off the wall, and Mar Morris will get into second base with a double. So 2-2 two -two count, runners on the corners, one away for Jared Saltalamaki, and Saltalamaki is going to take this ball deep to left field, and he will get under this one, but the runner will score, so the Marlins are going to end up tying the game at one with the sack fly. 2-2 two -two count to Edini Echeverria, and Echeverria is going to hit this one off the end of the bat, and Tomas will get under the ball, so that'll be out number three, but we move to the top of the third, back to the top of the order, AJ Pollock up, first pitch he sees in the at-bat, and he is going to take this one, this one is deep, and it is going to land just fair, as Pollock has got extra bases, and he is going to stand up at second base with a double, continuing to move his average up. As he's hitting about 330 right now. But now Aaron Hill. He's going to hit this one down the left field line. It's slowly rolling. So Pollock will get into home. And that will give the Diamondbacks the 2-1 to one lead now. Paul Goldschmidt up 2-2 two -two count. See if he can get anything done. And he will not. He tried checking his swing on the splitter. But he would end up going anyways. So Marlins get out of the inning with limited damage. So now leading off the inning. 3-1 count. Danny Heron. And Dan Heron is going to end up drawing the walk. And that is a person you not want to walk, the leadoff, the leadoff pitcher. So now Christian Yelich is up, and Yelich is going to take this one to right field. Trumbo going to give a dive. He will not get to the ball. Runners are going to come all the way home, and Yelich will have a two RBI triple for the Marlins. And now the Marlins are going to regain the lead. It is three to two up. Giancarlo Stanton up. And Tomas is going to try and throw this one home. And he is going to get Yelich at home. And that is going to save a run. A nice defensive play and heads up play by Yosmani Tomas. But now this play is going to be into right field. 
and Trumbull will end up getting the Martin Prada pop up. So that's how it's going to end. It's going to be a 3 to 2 game going at the top of the fourth. Tuffy goes switch up, and Ghost Switch is going to hit this one up the middle. It is slowly rolling as well. Runner coming home. The throw is in time, but Jared Saltzlamaki is going to have trouble with it. So that is going to time the game at threes now. So now D Gordon is up, and D Gordon is going to get this one past Trumbo. Trumbo has trouble in the outfield. This one rolls all the way to the wall. D Gordon is all the way on his ready third. And now he's running home. He's going for the inside of the park home run. The throw is in time, but he gets under the tag. And D Gordon has an inside the park two run home run. So that'll make it a five to three game for the Marlins. And now two men on for the Diamondbacks. They need to regain this lead. Paul Goldschmidt up. Great spot for him, but he's going to end up grinding this one in front of home plate as Salty will throw this one onto first. So now there's two runners in scoring position for. Mark Trumbo, Mark Trumbo, 0-1 count, and Trumbo is going to ground this one in front of home plate as well. Danny Heeren throws on the first, and the Marlins get out of the inning. So now Daniel Hudson coming into his 11th appearance of the season, 2-1 run record with a 5.79 ERA. Trying to keep this lead from growing any farther, as now is the bottom of the fifth. Full count to Giancarlo Stanton, and Giancarlo continuing to struggle this season. That is another strikeout for him as he tried reaching for that one. Now 0-2 count, bomb of the fifth. Mike Morris up, and Morris is going to take this one to center field. Pollock on his horse, and he makes an incredible catch. A.J. Pollock, or Superman, that is the question. Just check this out again. Goes flying and somehow comes out with the sensational catch. That probably saved a run if he did not catch it. But Now Ichiro Suzuki coming up for a pinch hitter in the bomb of the sixth inning. Two away. One out count, pitch from Hudson, and Ichiro hits this one deep, back goes Trumbo, still back, and it is gone. Ichiro Suzuki, an unlikely source, one of the last people you would expect to hit a home run besides Juan Pierre. Uh, he hits a home run, so yeah, so that, that's that's a tough break for the Diamondbacks, as that's going to give the Marlins a three-run lead. So after that, Alan Webster coming into the game, bomb the seventh, 1-1 one, one count. Marcel Ozuna, and this one is hit into the gap. That's going to be easy. Extra bases for Ozuna. Rouse off the wall. Played by Pollock, and that will be a double for Ozuna. So now there's another runner in score position for the Marlins. And Martin Prado up 1-2 count, and Prado's going to end up striking on the slider. So Alan Webster does get out of the inning without allowing a run. But heading to the bottom of the ninth now, Steve, Steve Sizek is going to be into the game. 19th game of the season, trying to get the save. Top of the ninth, two away. Tuffy goes to switch up. 2-2 two -two count, and goes to switch is going to hit this one up the middle so the Diamondbacks have a little bit of life with two away. So, goes to switch is on first base now. Still got a couple more guys to go, but Gerald Laird up. Pinch hitter trying to get the job done. 2-1 count, and Laird is going to hit this one up the middle, and it is going to get past Hedgevaria, and that puts two men on. So now the tying run is at the play in the form of Chris Owings. Chris Owings will be coming on as a pinch hitter to pit for the pitcher spot. 2-2 count, top of the ninth, and Owings is up grounding back to Cizek, and Cizek throws on to first, and the Marlins do hang on. So a rough game for the Diamondbacks, a couple of hits that they gave up. The D. Gordon miscue was probably the one that hurt the most as that ended up getting in two runs, but... And then a rough game for the Diamondbacks here to try and bounce back again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Don't stop, girl. You know.